So a lot of people say that the future of transportation is self-driving cars. We're standing next to one right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's owned by Uber, and we're going to get behind the wheel and drive it ourselves. Well, I guess it's the car is going to actually drive itself, and I'm just going to be sitting there. So let's go check it out. Oh, did I mention I don't know how to drive? All right. Uh, I'm ready to engage. I'm going to, I'm going to engage the car into self-driving right now. And I do that by pushing the silver button to my right. So the white light turned, in, in, turned on from blue, and the car is now driving itself. Passing by some, uh, some factories here, some beautiful old, this is the Heinz factory here to the left. I definitely have the impulse to put my, my foot on the gas, even though it's doing it all itself. I'll turn back here and say, hey, what's up? But I'm not gonna do that. And it's accelerating a little bit because we're going up a hill, but now it's slowing down. And it's stopping. And it did it all by itself. I'm very proud of you, car. <laughs> the turn signal came on automatically and now it's turning itself onto this bridge. And it just did that all by, that's incredible. Okay, so this, this guy jagged out into our lane, so I decided to take control of the car so that we don't die. What, what they're telling me is that uh, it knows how fast to go. It knows what the speed limit is because Uber has mapped the city. And so it has programmed into its software uh, how fast we can go depending on where we are in the city. Uh, if we were to go somewhere that was unmapped, uh, uh, the car would refuse to go into autonomy mode. I think it was a little close to those parked cars, but okay, it kind of moved to the left there a little bit. Okay. It kicked us out again. That's all right, there's, a, there's a, a lot of obstacles on this road, so maybe this is a road that you would want to be in control yourself. So I'm now driving the self-driving car, and I just want to say, screw you robots. <laughs> all right, now it is driving itself. We're approaching Uber's technology center here. And we're here. Success. Success. <laughs> we survived. Cool. So Uber says that the ultimate goal is to have a system in place where there's no drivers in these cars, that you basically pull out your phone, tap the app, and a car comes to your home uh, with nobody in it. And it'll take you to your destination. Travis Kalanick, the CEO of Uber, has talked about an idea of uh, perpetual trips, that the cars are just constantly picking people up, dropping them off. Uh, sort of akin to mass transit in a way, but obviously automated, totally autom automated and uh, running itself. Uh, we got a chance to see some of that up close. It's obviously in its very early stages here, uh, but it was really cool to see, uh, especially be behind the wheel as the car was driving itself. Uh, it felt very fluid, very natural. Uh, it was only scared maybe half a second when it got a little bit close to some parked cars. But other than that, uh, it's clear that this is a, a technology that's well on its way. Uh, and it'll be really interesting to see how Uber uh, rolls this out in the future. So for more videos like this, go to TheVerge.com or YouTube.com slash TheVerge.